Today we're doing some mad science. Um, I've been really liking having Word Clock uh, integrated into my system, but I've just started to. So I have the Zoom F6 uh, as a, a external recorder uh, that gives me six inputs, and I've been using just hardwired Word Clock out of the F6 into this camera, the Z6, but I want to be able to get Word Clock to um, my Z50 and the Insta360, and the tentacle sync seems to be the best option as the way to do it. Trouble is, is right now recording this, it's the end of July, and I'm being told that it's like October, November before they have stock of uh, um, this pretty hot commodity. So what am I gonna do until then? There is other systems that I can buy, but I want that one. So I gotta be able to be patient and I need to be able to have establish a, a workflow that gets me through. I had an idea last night. I had no idea there was some place this close, this beautiful. 15 minutes from home. So let's talk time code. I do a lot of things that require multiple cameras and multiple audio sources and uh, critical audio sources. So I did a bunch of experiments to see how far we can push time code. The Tentacle Sync app, which is the best one, the other ones really are just not reliable. Um, but what I found that I could do is turn a device on with timecode running because the Tentacle Sync app only really reads the first few seconds of timecode and then it just times it up and you're good to go. So uh, with the Insta360, I can plug it in, turn the Insta360 on, hit record, I have timecode at the beginning, then I can unplug the Insta360 from timecode and it'll sync up. One of the needs that I have is to be able to do just short clips uh, really quickly on multiple cameras and the ability to be able to see it sync up and where I, sh I shot it during the day is huge. I can just grab my A or my B camera or whatever and just shoot and then makes editing way easier. The concerns that I had with running uh, time code through the wireless transmitters is um, these transmitters don't have a lot of uh, control over gain, so, but I did it where I actually let them absolutely crush it and then I put it through tentacle sync and it picked it up just fine. Um, so now I've set the gain levels to something more reasonable, but to the receiver, there is no control on this, re on this receiver of um, the line input, so it's actually getting obliterated and then it runs into um, the receiver which I actually can control, so I have a reasonable level there. So, and then a reasonable level into the camera. And it seems to work just fine. Now these transmitters, they cut out once in a while, um, <clears throat> but they don't have to work the whole time. They just need to work at the first little bit, and if, they, um, if it messes up there, then I can just tell Tentacle Sync to look through the whole file for some time code, and there'll be enough uh, for it to work. These are not reliable enough for voice, but they are reliable enough, it appears, for time code. The other concern that I had is with timecode is uh, running all these splitters uh, because I also want to be able to occasionally go into my camera where um, the left side is timecode and the right side is a microphone so I actually do have a microphone backup and so I was running a split out of the zoom so that I could run to multiple cameras and then a split back into the camera where I have the microphone on one side and the word clock on the other. That seems to work too. I've split this uh, um, the, the time clock out three ways and then split it three ways going back into a camera left and right. And it seems to work just fine. I mean, it's a pretty solid signal. So, and the Tentacle Sync app seems to pick it up. 
Okay, so I'm out of battery in my A camera, so I had to switch to my B. Uh, the system is not without its faults, though. There's the Insta360 camera that basically, um, it's in 24 frames, no matter what you do. So there's kind of always a bit of a problem there. And, um, but it also kind of locks the frame, like when you export it, it won't export a 360 file. It, you know, makes it into a 16 by nine. I haven't really looked at what it's doing, but it doesn't let uh, Logic use the file like it's a regular 360 file. And in the testing that I've done, I haven't had timecode fail, not even once. Like, even when the jack wasn't plugged all the way into the F6 and it went on the right side instead of the left, uh, I did have to have the Tentacle Sync app read the entire uh, file for timecode, but it found it. And I thought, well, maybe I can download um, a timecode app that I can like jam sync things where I like plug it in and uh, you know give timecode to devices or even mount a phone on top of a camera. We do that all the time for various things. Um, the best app that I could find was uh, it's TC Timecode or no TC Toolbox, and it jammed, it did all of that stuff. But I found the clock to be very inaccurate because it was always reading as 24 frames, even when you put it on the 23.987 or whatever that number is. It's a shame that that didn't work because that might have even been a solution that might have made me not want to go for the Tentacle Sync uh, um, stuff, just buy the software and call it good. Tentacle Sync was really smart in selling their software for basically the same price as one of their units. It's kind of made them the only game in town for people that are just getting into time code for these types of purposes. I'm only a few meters in on this place. I gotta go check more of it out and see what's going on here. This place is absolutely beautiful. Nature conservation, 15 minutes from home. Who would have thought? Me and a moose just scared the bejesus out of each other. He, luckily for me, went running the other way. And note to self, this is a very small reserve. There's wild animals out here and I need to uh, wear a bell, care bear spray and all that stuff. And I'm out here dressed like a city slicker. Whew, that, that was scary. I think for both of us. I'm pretty sure more for me. So that was a little freaky. I was probably, I'm gonna say 40 feet from the moose and it startled. Luckily it ran the other way and then just uh, you know, kind of talked around and looked at me and stayed still. And uh, so I talked to myself the rest of the way and uh, kept an eye out for an angry moose. And you know, I'm not super comfortable with wildlife. Um, I just know I want to look at it, but not particularly interact with it. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.